So we have written uh, sign-in page content, validate sign-in with credentials. Right? Till this point, we have written. So uncheck this, stay checked in, check which system should. So system should navigate to not this system should navigate to example inbox and uh, should display search email edit box uh, mail edit box this we can say our home page or logged in home page okay so that's the one thing now so we need to write validate the sign in with stay logged in checkbox is checked okay validate the stay logged in checkbox with the valid credentials. So then what is the username? I can give some values. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First, you you can the same points enter. Enter valid username in username edit box. Enter valid password in password edit box. Okay. Take the Stay updating checkbox. Click on login button or sign in button or whatever it is. So in the real so user story, whatever the so requirement the fields they are given, right? You have to sign in button. You can write the same way. What are the names in the user story that those names only use it? So what it is saying, uh, so that I don't have to enter my credentials every time. So in the current system, okay, that is the, so system should log in successfully and uh, next time it should not ask for credentials okay so that is the maybe you can write more test cases here like you know you close the browser completely again launch and go to the Sign in page again. Your credentials should auto populate so that you can write whether they are so auto populating or not. So when you check this checkbox, they should auto populate when you close and reopen the browser with and the same login page if you are in the system. 
If other system, you should not uh, know. That test case also you have to verify. So when you are in other uh, system or your mobile, anywhere if you log in, it should ask again a username password. It should not re pop auto populate your username password. So all these test cases you need to add that. This also Q two one. So next TC zero eight seven right. <laughs> Sorry. Credentials when new browser open in the same computer. Open the example website. So Open the existing example website, uh, navigate to sign in page. System should auto populate. Credentials and logged in. successfully. Okay. Any questions here? The only first test case only, first requirement only we have written till now. First requirement, how many? So test case we got? seven test cases. So next, let's move on to the second one. QAT two, QAT two here. Second requirement I'm writing. So what is that? Read, read the requirement. As a user, I want to be able to reset my Password, if I forget to, forget it. So that I can regain access to my account. That means basically forget password link validation. So forget password link validation. Validate the forget password. Validate means I already told. Verification and validation I explained in the beginning class. Verification means just looking at that. Validation means you are going to do action on that element. Now here you are validating the forget password link, whether it is working or not. Forget password link.
Click on forget password link. So enter the maybe so it's just we are validating only, right? Maybe forget password page content you can validate again. Maybe uh, in one step, if you want to finish, you can enter the email address for reset link. Reset link they will send to the mail, right? That you need to enter and click on uh, submit. Then verify the reset link in the email. Okay. So give all these points one by one. Okay, then first forget password should be displayed. So for this first step, what is the expected? That also you can write. Forget password page should be displayed. The next one, reset link should be available in the email. Reset. Password reset link should be available in email inbox or in email, it's okay. okay. That's it. So next, I'll continue here, TC09. QAT two two. So validate the reset password link. Okay. Reset password link in email. Click on reset password link. I can give So just press enter key, alt, alt enter, it will go to next line, okay? If anybody is not aware of this Excel, just put the cursor last, alt enter, it will go to next line. Next, enter, new password, and third, enter, confirm password, Click on submit. <clears throat> this is the steps you very, very important. So what you are going to do in this page, once you get a link, right? That's what uh, we are doing here. So password should get reset. Password should get reset successfully. After reset, you should log in, right? To check whether that is working or not. 
So check that. Verify the reset password functionality. Okay, <clears throat> so I can give password, but uh, you should not password uh, nowhere uh, write it. Okay, but if it's a testing one, it's okay. You can put it. So, username. If it's a test one. You can keep it. So not a problem. So it's everybody can use it. Then you can um, note down here. <clears throat> this is the all test data we call. So what is the test data? The data that is used to test the application. That is called test data. Okay. And uh, user should be in login page again so enter all the uh, valid usernames and passwords system should log into system Sure, login successfully. <clears throat> okay, so done. So any other uh, negative cases here? Negative cases, basically you are giving, uh, no, while resetting time, you can give uh, new password one, and confirm password differently, the combinations, then you will get an error message. So that that you can uh, write another test case also, but uh, it's okay. Size of people. So that's the size and all this. You can test again here, password lengths and uh, different combinations that you can write the more test cases if you want. Ramesh, last three passwords uh, not, not been previous password that also we can test. Uh, last password, yeah. If they they are given that requirement, requirement. Okay. Uh, like no, they will sell. They will tell in the requirement. Okay, last three passwords should not allow. Okay. So that should be mentioned in the mm -hmm. your your in this area, in these requirements. Okay. If they are not telling you, they should allow whatever you know, but that is mostly, it will more secure data is there, right? For banking, such kind of uh, areas, they won't allow, but general applications, it's okay, okay? Remember where sensitive data is there, that areas, you should be very careful and they should not allow, maybe for last five passwords, also they, should, they are not going to allow. You can test that also. <clears throat> okay, so are we clear on these two test case uh, requirements? Then see how many test cases we generated. The requirement two got uh, three, right? But still you can write here, reset password. Uh, uh, when you only click on forget password link, there you will enter an email, right? You wrong email if you give, it should not go to the mail. And those are negative cases you have to write. So here, but I am not writing, but you make sure you write them. 
and also while resetting password, new password and confirm password, another one or two days cases, you can write extra. Okay. Is it clear? Any doubts? Hmm? Silence, what happened? Clear up till now, Ravish. Okay, yeah, good, thank you. Yes, you're silent, that's why I'm... Okay, TC, next requirement, we can uh, move on. What is the next requirement? All uh, negative, right? Native test cases. So what is that? As a user, I want to see an error message if I enter incorrect login details so that I know my login attempt has failed. So very clear, hard. Positive are done on the top, now negative. So that means you are going to be invalid credentials. The combinations you enter, first combination itself, Leave the field blank, both. First, you can start with that. So validate login with empty credentials. So no credentials at all. User should be Login page. So, first point leave the username field blank, leave the password field blank. Click on sign in sign. button. So it should complain. What is that? Please enter valid credentials. System should display appropriate error message. Saying that, please enter valid credentials. Okay. What do you see? 12. Create two, three. Validate. Login with valid email and incorrect password. They are given invalid uh, password.
theme, system should display appropriate error message. Please enter valid credentials. Like that, you can write a combinations. So both valid and invalid, right? And write TC. So it is usually that first we have to cover up the positive, then we have yes. to come to the neg negative, is it? Right, right. First positive test case, that is also called a happy path testing. Okay. 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 So first functional flow, happy path is working or not, you check. Let okay. you go for the negative. Negative test cases, okay. Yeah, happy path itself not working, no, going for the negative, it, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay. So, at least the user should be able to log in with the correct username password. That always you have to make sure. Okay. Any functionality you are testing, mm -hmm. positive flow should go fine. Okay. That's the first check you have to do. Okay. Okay, so now validate invalid username and valid password. Same message, okay? If you don't know, just put a appropriate error, error message, okay? You are not clear about the message. Generally, they will give message also, okay? You don't need to worry about that. They will give. The product owner will give. You don't need to worry about it at all. So, validate. Login with invalid credentials both invalid i'm giving here okay those are combinations permutations and combinations we are taking you observe right so that's very very important this very simple use case okay so i have given a lot and uh, so once you join back, I will uh, show you the Jira board and everything so that uh, you will come to know Sprint, how it will be, and uh, I will assign the task and everything. Okay. So these are all the test cases. I'll share, please share your email address in our group. I'll share this uh, uh, document. You can write for the rest of the so user stories. Okay. I'll give... Uh, for one by one, uh, I will assign the this is uh, I need to add you guys also to this Jira so that you can work on Jira directly. You can work on Jira. Okay, so in this uh, Jira itself, I will invite you. You can uh, accept. You want to send us in the group chat? Yeah, in our group chat, that is good. Okay, okay. So let me. On WhatsApp. In our WhatsApp group, uh, there is a group chat, right? Yeah. So I will add you guys to this uh, Jira so that you can uh, see that. So these are all the test cases how you are going to write. So every time, so you are going to write the test cases like this. And then, see the format is this is the one. So when this you will feel actual result is status of baguette, once you get the environment from the development team. When you will start execute, this is called when you are writing a actual result to status, these things, 
That means you started executing these test cases. How you will execute? By reading these steps, one by one step. Okay, so that is the execution means one by one uh, step you read and go and execute on the application. Is this clear? The test case execution means. Any questions here? Test case designing and test case execution also, I'll show you that. What else is pending? Here. Okay, defect, anyhow, we uh, haven't started. These are all we covered, traceability matrix. Okay, test case execution. See that. Executing the test case is, uh, no. You take one by one test case and execute that. So when you are executing, so each step you read and do the action on the application. See, this is the one, launch the browser, go launch the browser. So type this URL, type the URL in the address bar here. Press enter key, press enter key. So step by step you read and perform on the application. That's the execution of a test cases means. And if it is performing same way, as a expect result right here. Okay, example home page is displayed. Then, okay, these two are same. Then status you fill, it is pass. Status will be pass or failed. So not executed, not applicable, something like that you can have a statuses. Okay, 